They say good things come in a small packages. However, they possibly forgot to mention that sometimes bad things come in a small packages too. Bad things like cancer, which actually starts affecting in a small area of our organ and starts spreading to an uncontrolled growth. Three, in every 10 Australians die in cancer, where eight million people die every year around the world. One of the major causes for this huge loss is failure to detect cancer at its earliest stage. Now, is there any technology that actually can detect cancer at its earliest time? Answer is yes. Unlike CT or MRI, nuclear medicine imaging can actually do that. Well, then it seems we must not have any problem. But just like any other thing, life is not that fair. And nuclear medicine imaging has its own limitations. <coughs> My research focuses on those limitations to overcome. Single photon emission computer tomography, or SPECT, is a technique of imaging in nuclear medicine. It uses radioisotope, which is injected to the patient, and that starts emitting rays. Those emitted rays are collected to produce functional images. A conventional SPECT data acquisition module has a conventional collimator, which allows rays only in a particular direction and rest of the rays are discarded. That makes a SPECT very low in acquisition. In my LSPECT system, I'm using micro-range pinhole array plate, which has 10,000 pinholes in total in a small active area. That can up every possible ray from every possible direction. That makes the acquisition high. Because of that high acquisition, LSPECT can collect sufficient data in a short span of time. Behind every pinhole, I'm using 100 pixels, which has 1,000 by 1,000 array of pixels, which can produce super resolution SPECT images, which means SPECT will no longer need any other technology to get fused with to describe its own images. That makes the technology cheaper. This whole idea incorporates with light field imaging method, and that's how my device has ended up naming as LSPECT system, which I'm not exactly dreaming about, but living with it every day in the laboratory with great results. I do dream for a world where failure in early detection in cancer doesn't let anyone lose their near or dear ones. I believe in near future, LSPECT will be the reason for you to dream the same.